I recently did an eBay delivery package for these Prime Media mini discs and they're sealed and I said in that video that I'd have to get another set of five so I can open one set and then um, keep one set so I knew what the packaging was like but it struck me after that video that there's actually nothing on the packaging it's just a plain um, plastic wrap so in this video we're going to unwrap these and see what they're like we're going to start off with the black And there's the tab there. And someone commented on that video, I think, that there was only a few manufacturers of mini discs, and I agree. I suspect that Maxell was one of the manufacturers. When I said manufacturers in that video, I should have said producers, really. Or I should have said distributors because I don't think there were many different companies making them. My guess is Sony made them. And I think Maxell made them. And their factory in um, Apley in Telford, I think is being redeveloped for housing. So I wonder if we can figure out who made these ones. If you know, please leave a comment because I'd really like to find out. But clearly this is for, I would guess the Japanese market. That's a bit fancy, isn't it? No, oh, the discs remind me of um, that logo, reminds me of a Maxell logo as well. So let's have a look. There might be a few clues. Oh, it's a different, it's not a Maxell case. So that printing, I suppose it could be Maxell. Is that sticky? Yeah, that feels sticky or scratched. Quite nice disc though. something I'm familiar with. So if you recognise this disc as something you've seen before, then please let me know. Ah, right, I've seen that disc, I've seen that before. Let me grab another disc. No, it's not the same. I thought it might be the same as this Denon case, but that's got a part there, and this one doesn't. So if you've seen these cases anywhere else, or you can shed any light on what the, um, who the manufacturer might have been on these, please let me know in the comments. Okay, so that's the black one. So let's move on more quickly now. So what's the clip, what's the clip holding this in? So what, there's a, ah, oh, it's just there, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. So it can be hard to see. It's that clip there, which deforms a little bit to hold the disc in. See it just there on my thumb. I look on the other side. There you go. Right, okay, so let's move on. Let's have a look at the yellow one. This almost strikes me as a very 70s design, this, this typeface. But look at the state of that. Is that on the disc? No, it's not on the disc. Hmm. 
Elliot would be proud of me. Probably a little bit too much Mr Sheen on that one. Okay, so I think it is coming off. But I'd hardly call this prime media. This isn't premium, I don't think. Not if it's got sticky marks all over it. Yeah, I think it's going to come off, so I'll spend some time doing that later on. So let's move on quickly to the red one. A bit sticky up the top there. So my guess is this is a low-end producer. It's quite a nice back on that though. Quite like that. What's the yellow one like? Okay, let's have a look at the blue. Manky, isn't it? Some sort of glue by the looks of it. I don't know whether that's something to do with the printing or the way it's been stuck together. But I'll get it off later on. And finally, the green. Yeah, again, quite nice, but horrible marks left there. Don't know what the heck that is. Makes you wonder what quality the disc is inside, though. But all in all, nice enough disc, but I don't think they're very high quality. I do like the back, though. That looks nice. Brilliant. So if you've seen discs like this with similar moulding marks, uh, the shutter seems a bit short, but uh, if you know where this, who might have manufactured this, then please let me know. Let's just have one little check. Um, Denon was known for their quality equipment. It actually feels more rattly. The Denon feels more rattly than the Prime Media one. So. If you have any idea where these discs were manufactured and by whom, please let me know in the comments. Thanks very much.